para Justin Angles. Adjacent angles are the angles that have a common vertex and a common line segment. Well, let's look at some examples. Now, let's say this is a vertex. Let's name it vertex B. Let's make a line segment. Let's name the line segment, line segment A, B. Let's make another line segment. Let's name this one line segment C, B. Let's make another line segment. Let's name this one line segment D, B. Now, when these lines connected, they formed some angles like angle A, B, C, or like angle C, B, D. And they also formed other angles too. Now, let's name angle A, B, C, angle one. And let's name angle C, B, D, Angle 2. Now, let's find out if they are adjacent angles. Now, the first property of adjacent angles is that they have a common vertex. So, does angle 1 and angle 2 have a common vertex? Yes, they do. It is vertex B. Vertex B is a common vertex. Now, let's look at the second property. The second property of an adjacent angle is that it has a common line segment. Now, does angle 1 and angle 2 have a common line segment? Yes, they have a common line segment. The common line segment is line segment CB. So, line segment CB is a common line segment between angle 1 and angle 2. So, yes, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Now, let's look at another example. This time, let's say this is a vertex. Let's draw a line. Let's name this vertex vertex a. Let's draw a line segment. Let's name it line segment B A. Let's draw another line segment. Let's name this line segment line segment C A. Let's draw another line segment. Line segment D A. Let's draw another line segment. Let's name it line segment E A. Now, when these line seg segments connected, they formed some angles. Like angle C A B or angle E A D. And they formed other angles also. Now let's name angle C, A, B, angle 1. And let's name angle E, A, D, angle 
two. Now, are angle one and angle two adjacent? Well, let's see. Do they have a common vertex? Yes, they have a common vertex, vertex A. Vertex A is the common vertex between angle one and angle two. Let's look at the second property. Do they have a common line segment? No, they do not have a common line segment. Because line segment C, C, A and line segment E, A are also there. There are two line segments, not one. So, angle one and angle two are not line segments, are not adjacent angles. Now let's look at another example. Let's say this is a vertex. segment A, B. Let's draw another line segment. Let's name this line segment, line segment C, B. Now let's draw another line segment. Line segment D, C. Now, when these line segments were formed, they formed some angles, like angle A, B, C, or angle B, C, D, and they formed other angles also. Now, let's name angle A, B, C, angle one and angle B, C, D, angle two. Now, let's find out if they are adjacent. Let's find out if angle one and angle two are adjacent. Now, do they have a common vertex? Well, do they? Angle one has a common ver has a vertex B, and angle two has a vertex C, so they do not have a common vertex because they have two vertexes, vertex B and vertex C, vertex B for angle one and vertex C for angle two. Now, do they have a common line segment? Yes, they do have a common line segment, line segment B, C. So line segment B, C is the common line segment for angle one and angle two. So angle one and angle two are not adjacent angles because they do not have a common vertex. Today we learned about adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are the angles that have a common vertex and a common line segment. Thank you for watching this video.